Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 3. All right, and we left off. We were, uh, well, we had just gotten done destroying most of the mercenary group, if not all the mercenary group. Uh, and now we're going to go back to Walter in, uh, the tavern back in Brightwall. I had to think about it for a second. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. See what we learn about from him. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. But dealt with them. Also, did them in only three shots. That was pretty impressive. Hey, money. Gotta love money. Alright, oh. That's a thing that I was going to show. Um, there is a difference to a lot of, well, the mechanics around renting uh, in where you don't have to do it just from in front of the house. You can do it from the screen. There's also a repair thing, <laughs> which, uh, as you can see, the house condition since I bought them, has deteriorated slightly to about 97%. That does also affect the rent you pull in from the properties. However, it doesn't really start affecting it until a significant percentage is lost. But it is something you need to watch out for. Now, uh, I had picked up a couple more houses in the interim... Uh, some of these are shops, so I can't really pick them up, but I picked up that one. Uh, this one I was going to pick up, uh, the slaughter house here. Uh, I should probably do that now. And the repair will take a lot of money, probably. 241, yep. Yep, that's what I expected. Oh, uh, well. But now it's at 100%. Oh, no, I didn't want to sell that. Uh, and let's repair the rest of them. Oh, there we go. This one's only 7. For 97%, it's not too bad. Of course, there's always a cost to it. 7. This will all be very small for repairs. I just want to get them fully up anytime I buy a new, you know... New property. Proper time. That one was eight. Oh my. Wonder what <laughs> wonder what happened over there. It was a whopping eight gold. Three four three! Hey, Halo! Uh, uh, shoot me in the face. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, the joke was there, thus I had to make it. I repair that for seven. And this, oh, this one was fairly recently bought. I only had to repair it for three. Okay, then. And I don't have enough to buy any of these other... Shh. No, I don't. I'm not for this one. The Caravan of Poom? <clears throat> Alright. Or the Obscure Reference... Okay, so all of these were obscure references. Well, the rat house I got. Slaughterhouse was fairly obvious. Um, what were some of the other ones? The Crooked Caravan. Nah. Winter Wagon. Mrs. Tibbins Caravan. Not sure I get that reference. The Caravan of Love. The House of Riddles. Old Reliable... And Wimpet Sniffle. I don't think I get that one either. Especially don't get Caravan of Poom. Don't know what the fuck that's about. But, uh, yeah. Just two more houses and then I'll own all of the Dweller Camp. But anyway. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna walk manually to Brightwall. Because that gives me an opportunity to build up, uh... Some seals numbers. It's not really levels, you can say. So, seals numbers. 
considering it's a number of seals that goes into the cost of stuff. Anyway, up we go. And... Alrighty. Okay, I'm hearing wolves over here. Oh, just run straight into that rock. Good job, me. Um. Oh. Well, that worked. It's kind of douchey of me to do it from this angle, but it worked. I think I got most of them, too. Hey, more money! Oh, I love money. Money, 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 money. Okay. I could buy one of those houses now. But I'm not gonna. Because I'm not gonna make this entire episode me buying houses. <laughs> that would be stupid. Um, I'm diverting myself a little bit from the uh, given path to check out a couple things. A couple places. It would behoove me to do so. Oh, hey. Dig spot. Means I haven't been here before. Nice. I'm drink my coffee now. Some gold. Hello, gold. What you roaring? What are you growling about, you big doof? You big floof. Chill Breath Caverns. Well, it's something I haven't explored clearly, so might as well go in. Or at least this particular entrance I haven't explored. So I'm pretty sure I've been in here before, just at a different place. In a different time. There we are. Quit telling me statistics, game, please. I don't want to know that. Especially not that particular statistic. Oh, hey! Nice, now I'm up to five. Hells to the yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to go the other way. You now have enough to open another chest on the road to rule. I'm not going to go do that yet. Oh, it does give you the uh, immediate option to do so now. But I'm not going to. I don't need to. Thus, I'm not going to. Besides, I'm saving up for the next melee level anyway. Just because I kind of want to see how the sword's going to morph. Beware the danger of deserters. Know them by this sign. Which is a boid. It's a boidy boidy. I fucking don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I know what I'm talking about. It's just I don't know why I'm going on with that stupid joke. <laughs> if anything... Alright, let's get moving up here. I have to have them slow down a little bit because I have to scratch the back of my head. My hair is a god's damned mess. And thus it makes it very itchy. All who are considered cowards, vagabonds, or and renegades. It's hard to read the last bit because it was covered up by the loading screen. Uh, tip, bit, whatever the hell you want to call it. Anywho, here we are back in Brightwool. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me that game. Now I've officially reached the same amount of time one of my friends has. Oh, and now I've exceeded it. Okay, thank you, game. You can put that away now. Thank you. Oh, boy. I 
I did not expect the game to be mentioning shit like that. Is that normal? I find it lends the brew a rather piquant flavor. Well, but Samuel, this isn't a silver hen ale. Uh, then, no, that's just a chicken feather. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. <laughs> okay, then. Hi there. Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, Sounded like you were talking about we have beer. made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Yay, Nobody will be more good. pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Here's hope. Of course, nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Does he? Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The okay. thing is, as Give I was an just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. Ah, the king's I levies see. are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure yeah. they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way Alrighty. I see it. Already. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I That's heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As well, it happens, I've learned uh, I a you promising method for amassing followers. Have you? If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Alrighty. And Got gather more... Seals. Ah, now, the book says well, there is an additional rather amazing capability about the Sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. Oh, it has a quest sort of set up. Okay, cool. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a mm -hmm. closer look at Brightwall and I will explain more. Alrighty. You can now see the villagers in need. Oh. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select Alrighty. a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Which sounds good to me and is a great way to build up seals faster than just running around killing things and or talking to people. Which is nice. Uh, Choose whom you wish ooh. to assist. Doing so a will sale. gain you followers. Uh, on items for pawn. Well, that's if anything, it's uh, twenty-five percent extra for items. A gem shortage, which I can absolutely make use of, and weapons from Brightwall Blades. Brightwall Demon Door. This ancient doorway is feeling rather broody. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe because it's stuck as being a door. Okay, what is this? Ah, fabulous furnishings. 30% off all items. Well, that does sound good. Missing play. Lambert and Pinch need help putting on their play in Brightwall. Okay. Gnomes are great. That, that joke didn't really land like I was hoping. Brian and Brightwall wants your help retrieving a very special package. A gnome? Gnome, rather? Okay, well. I have beat that joke into the ground. Let's do that, sure. The glowing trail will now direct you to this quest. Would you like to fast travel to the nearest available location for this quest? Yeah, sure. Why not? Wow, that was really close. Closer than I was earlier. I'm uh, going to drink a bit of my coffee. Give me a second. Also, what is this black blob that I'm looking at over here? What is that about? I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Um... Um... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be shortest.
Um, what did I just hear out of you? Also, what the fuck is this? I have no idea what this is. This is clearly not a loaded in texture. Also, Jasper's not actually talking to me. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. Okay. Oh! Hello. Hi there. Mm, lovely, aren't they? I've um, collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy. It, it is. made me take stock of my life, and I realized I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my all best friends. Right. Especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. See, I, I would actually die for him. That it's his so birthday healthy. today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything, but it, it, it never got here, unfortunately. Okay. Wait, you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Sure. Great, great. Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. Okay. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around anyway. Alrighty. Also? This is creepy. Who is Jonathan out of all of these? You have like four dozen here. Semi unsurprisingly, the recording started to goof up a little bit after the extended creepiness that was all of that. Um, yeah. So, uh, really nothing else changed other than me going, what the fuck? Uh, getting rid of the subtitle problem uh, that was plaguing us and still not knowing what the fuck that is that seems like it should be a waterfall texture but the game's not loading it in or this should be a rock texture maybe i don't know i have no idea but it's not working right and considering all the creepiness over there it can't be anything kosher anywho let us go uh See if we can find this package. Okay. Someone's not happy with something. I... I'm not going to look at the chests on the road to rule right now. Game. Calm down. Jeez. Alright. entrepreneur pack eventually I'll get to that hopefully uh, first things first though gotta do the quests that they ask of us and there we go the Albion girl always gets her way. Albion Ale, the beer for heroes. Okay, then. Well. My, my, my. Alright. Let us keep going. No enemies nearby, is there? Nah, doesn't look it. Okay. Going to continue on. Looked like the uh, recording was. Castone. Lovely that is. We get nothing for this job except our fee. There's no fee. No one hired us for this. What do you mean? We're bloody mercenaries. So what? We can only act when we've been paid. What about free will? I'm not saying we're not free to act as we desire. I'm um, saying our sole motivation, payment in this case, exists outside of us, which is necessarily incompatible with personal freedom. What you're advocating is hard determinism. I'm not. I'm simply questioning the efficacy of undertaking significant personal risk, as in performing an armed robbery, when we gain nothing of value. Well-defined value. 
This robbery may constitute little in terms of intrinsic value, but it's given us excitement, on-the-job training and life experience, as well as building morale and esprit de corps. Its extrinsic value is difficult to even quantify. Well, now you're talking about moral justification. I'm not going to argue teleology versus deontological. expecting uh, <laughs> well people who commit an armed robbery but I guess yeah I'll admit a good third of those terms went over my head <laughs> okay then uh, okay hi there Oh, okay. Still an option. You stand in the way of the bullets while I sneak round. Oh, jeez. Okay. Stop it. If we Stop all push him at once, he won't stand a chance. Well, you say that. Okay. Well, I was hoping that you weren't going to die right away. Oh, the skanky scum I was looking Okay. There we go. Lying Beautiful. down on the job, eh? Get rid of you. Perfect. Watch out! The bugger's got a gun! I've had a gun. You know this. The fact that you weren't paying attention this enough to know that is we kinda weird. Quick. Yeah, about that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And that's all of them. Huh. I'm surprised that they had that many people hiding over there that I didn't notice before. Well, I mean... Um... What? That's a gargoyle from the second game. How about that? This stone ornament has a faintly sinister aura about it. Or maybe that's a thin patina of moss. <laughs> That is how you pronounce that word, right? I don't run into that that often. Especially don't have a lot of people saying it, so. It's a problem with book learning. You know the word, but then you never know the pronunciation. Anyway. Uh, let's move on. Now that I've picked up the gargoyle, which was supposedly the entire point of the thing, well, that's yet another time my uh, recording software shits the bed. Maybe this entire quest line is just uh, too creepy for my computer today. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, wondering to myself as I was walking up, why would he go through the trouble to get one of the gargoyles from Fable 2 as a present for his collection of, well, the one, the one favorite of his collection or gaggle of gnomes. Why do I keep pushing that joke? Stop pushing that joke. <laughs> but nonetheless, it begs the question, why would he get that for Jonathan? Oh, hey, there's a quest right there. I'll get to that eventually. But for now... I'm going to run to him, find out how this quest is going to go. Alrighty. You're yeah, sure to find something true. special for that someone special. Alright. Oh, my phone's all the way charged. I was wondering why it suddenly lit up. That's the reason why. Anywho, continue on. And I wonder if that texture finally loaded in right. Probably has. Hopefully has, otherwise it just adds to the creepiness. Oh, it did! Good. Good. It was a rock texture. Weird how that one didn't load in. Hi there. Oh, Jonathan is going to be so excited. Oh, is it? You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! Brilliant! Okay. You see, Jonathan, 
I told you, didn't I? Oh, oh this is going to be amazing. This, this is going to be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are going to say, right, this, this is mind-bogglingly amazing. Put it right. in the place of honor, would you? Sure. It's just going to chastise you in Scottish. Right, let me see. Now then, here are the instructions. Prepare your display area in pride of place. Mm -hmm. Done that. Ensure okay. that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. Mm -hmm. Check. Face your gargoyle. Stand confident. Take a deep breath and say in an authoritative voice. Oh. <clears throat> Gargolus Multipulus Us. <sighs> oh, he just did some dark magic bullshit, didn't he? Oh. Don't eat wild mushrooms, they could be toadstools. Always look both ways before crossing a road. These are actually rather helpful. Don't play with matches. As opposed to the old gargoyles. This is kind of... Start every day with a healthy breakfast. It's kind of nice. I like it. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Is oh, wait, did I tell my family? Oh, I forgot I've stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing. Right. Oh boy. Yeah, I think the synopsis kind of explains my feeling on it. You have breathed life into an entire garden full of gnomes, an act that could not possibly have any negative consequences in the future. Right. Well, then. In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed, I put my pointy hat on my little, little pointy head. head. And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine, because I know this happy fellow all the time. They said a gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time. They said a gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time. Oh, I travel round the land and wherever I roam. From the mountains in the distance to the bed home. I have no doubt that the people of Brightwall will end up following you. Merely show them what you are capable of, and they cannot fail to become your supporters. Well, I guess I have the support of a crazy gnome person and his gaggle of gnomes. Why do I keep pushing that joke? Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna save the game. And I'm gonna forget that I, uh, became an accomplice to... Crazy magical shenanigans that probably should not have been messed with. Probably. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And uh, really hoping I didn't just make some sort of crazy shit happen in the future with that quest and uh you know just trying to help the people of bright wall so that way they're more willing to help the people of the dwellers camp that came out weird the dwellers there we go that's better for you